Hello everyone, this is Joseph K. Welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%. In the last part, we finally made it back to Batical, did a little sightseeing, bought some stuff, looked around, spoke to some of the locals, and now it is time to go and check out Luke's mom. Apparently she's still ill. And we don't know her condition. But before we do all that, come through this door. And go all the way over here. You talk to this guy. Good day, sir. We're at the end of the hall. It's chamber for former visitors. This is off limits. I don't know if you can ever go up here. You might be able to later. I don't think I've ever tried. Because honestly, there's no need to come over here after you uh, do most of the stuff. Well, this stuff right here. So here, let's talk to her. Oh, um, may I help you, ma'am? No, I was just... That's a cute uniform. I, I mean, I don't mean I want to try it on or anything. It wouldn't look good on me anyway. Huh? You like cute stuff, Tyr? That's kind of surprising. No, I, it wouldn't look good on me. It, I wasn't... Oh, I'm sure you look lovely, ma'am. I think so, too. What? Yeah, maybe so. She looks demure when she keeps her mouth shut, after all. <laughs> I think it would look good on you if you ask me. I think it would look good on you if you ask me. Alright, that's everything we can do in here. I wish there was, like, treasure and stuff in these drawers, but nope, there's not. Alright, let's go to Luke's uh, man uh, mom's mansion. Yeah, this is uh, the last episode of the night, so I have to see how much I can actually cram into this episode in the 30-minute time limit I'm giving myself. You know, yeah, um, I made an exception for a few videos ago with the Sword Dancer. Master Luke, we've been waiting your return. Father, I'm home. I've heard the report from General Cecile. I'm glad you're safe. Thank you for your help, Guy. It is my honor, sir. I see the emissaries are with you. You must be tired. Please, relax and make yourselves comfortable. Thank you. By the way, Luke, where is Dorian General Grants? Master Van? We split up at Casedonia. He said he'd come by boat later. Duke Fabra, I'll head to the port. Yes, I'll leave the matter of Van to you. I'll go to the castle. <clears throat> I hear it was thanks to you that my son was spirited halfway across the world. I apologize for the trouble I've caused. You're Van's sister? Yes. I've received a report that you intended to assassinate Van. Or were you, in fact, conspiring with him instead? Conspiring? I don't understand what you mean. Well, I'll leave that alone for now. Let's go, General. His grace was acting strangely. I wonder what's up with Master Van. I think I should be going, too. As long as you're here, you should probably apologize to the lady as well. She probably fell ill because Luke went missing. You're right. I'll do that. <clears throat> However, before we do any of that, uh, just wait around in this this room in particular for, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds, maybe 30. Uh, there's another skit we're trying to get. And then, yeah. Like I said, there's a lot I gotta try to... The Sword of the History. What an impressive manner. Look at all these decorations on the walls. Maybe, but I don't have a clue what they mean. I don't really care either. What a shame. Just look at all this history around you. How about that sword that's hanging near the entrance? Oh, that? As I recall, that was brought back from some battle, along with proof of victory over the enemy commander. 
proof? His head. The commander's head. Head? I better keep away from that thing. <clears throat> That's it. <laughs> Come over here, talk to Ramdis. You remember him from earlier. Welcome home, young master. Hey, might I ask what that animal is? It's a cheagle. Ah, the sacred beast of the Order of Lorelei. I'm Mew, pleased to meet you. It <coughs> er, pleased to meet you, Mew. I got stuck with it. It's like a pet. I see. Talk to them again. I wonder what I should prepare for Mew's meals. Alright, uh, let's go this way now. I'm relieved that you're safe, Master Luke. First, Natalia was worried. Okay, let's go see what's up in here. I was. Oh, well, you know. Luke's just embarrassed, your highness. Guy, you have some explaining to do, too. Guy, you have some explaining to do. I told you to come tell me before you went searching for Luke. Why did you leave without speaking to me? You know a servant like me can't get into the castle? Why are you backing away? <clears throat> you know why! Once I marry Luke, you'll be my servant, too. Get used to it. I can't! You're so strange. Look how pathetic you are. I don't know what the maids see in you. I'm sorry to hear about Van. What's going on with Master Van? Oh, my father didn't tell you? They suspect Van of being behind her disappearance. So that's <clears throat> why he asked if I was conspiring with Van. Oh? Who's this? Luke! Don't tell me you've taken advantage of one of your servant girls. <laughs> what? There's no way I'd touch a chick as cold as that. <laughs> Besides, she's not a servant. She's Master Van's sister. <clears throat> oh, you're the one who caused this commotion in the first place. Tear, was it? Enough about that. Tell me what's going to happen to Master Van. Van will likely be arrested as soon as he arrives in Batacle. Worst case, I presume he'd be executed. Oh, no! Ion! The Commandant's in danger! Yes, we must issue a protest from Doth at once. Natalia! Master Van wasn't involved! Please, talk to Uncle about it. You've got to save him! All right. I can't turn down a request from you, Luke. In exchange, please hurry and remember that promise you made. I told you, I don't remember proposing to you when I was a little kid. Yes, yes, your memory loss. But how romantic would it be if the first thing you remember was your proposal to me? Hurry up and go talk to Uncle about Master Van. Honestly, you can be so mean. Fine. <laughs> uh, Natalia. For Natalia, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with her. Unlike Luke. I can't stand Luke. There goes Natalia again. Some things never change, I guess. She sure looked like a princess, didn't she? Pretty clothes, royal bearing, elegant speech. I guess that's the upper class for you. A little boisterous, too. Well, you must be upper class yourself, then, Annis. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Enough already. <laughs> Welcome back, Master Luke. Madame Faber ill, the manor's atmosphere has been bleak. Alright, now go back this way. I'm over here. I don't... Once again, I didn't put down, like, how to get skits in my notes. <clears throat> Princess Natalia is beautiful. That cute dress looks so nice on her. Huh? She's not pretty. She's annoying. She whines about everything. Oh, I'm sorry. I think y'all might have heard that. 
And besides, you're beautiful too, Tyr. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. <clears throat> what was she gonna do to him? No, it's alright. I'm sorry. See, guy, that's why girls fall all over you. The way you just come out and say stuff like that. But all I did was say what came to mind. Anyways, come over here. Oh. Oh, right, right, we can't do that yet. All right, come over here. I was expecting something else, but there's something we gotta do before we do that. Master Luke, I'm glad you're safe. Madam Fobber has taken ill. Please hurry and let her know that you're safe. Ah, we're gonna let my mom wait. She's already been waiting for as long as this journey's been taken. How long has it been? 13 hours? Yeah, she's fine. But anyways, uh, come over here and let's talk to Pear. May I help you with something? I'm Jade. Excuse me for asking, but have we met somewhere before? Not that I recall. I see. I don't think that's ever explained. Like, I honestly don't think that's ever explained unless Pear was initially in the war. Maybe it was something they meant to put in there, but they cut out. I don't know. By the way, guy, you're not being a burden on everyone in battle, are you? I wonder. It's a whole group of strong fighters. Oh, yeah. Make sure you talk to this guy twice. This starts another sub-quest that we could do that'll take us pretty much throughout the whole game. Hmm. If you have the opportunity, go visit the old man named Guy who lives in the Zao Desert to the east. If you tell him Pear sent you, he should be able to teach you something useful about the sword. Okay. Spend too much time speaking to us, his grace will be angry. And that's it. Now, I don't know if you had to talk to him to initiate this scene. But, uh, walk around the garden for a little bit. Oh, no, wait. Not, not, don't walk around the garden. Stand still. Stand still in the garden for a little bit, and there you go. Like, five seconds. What a wonderful mansion. Oh, Luke, your mansion all the way up here, it's awesome. Yeah, I never knew it was up so high, or so high up. Not only that, but the manor itself is just great. This, oh, uh, it's nothing special. Oh, you don't have to be so modest, but I like that too. I hope I get to live in a place like this someday. I like the Chica ones better, it's much prettier than this place. Nobody asked you, Thing. Mew. Stupid little... <laughs> oh, Mew. How can you not like Mew? Luke, why do you not like Mew, you fucking dick? Alright, enough of that. Let's go this way. And let's come up here. Oh, hey, what's up? How you doing? Master Luke, we have waited anxiously for your return. Madame Faber is resting in her chamber. Please see her and reassure her of your safety. Alright. Get a scene. And while the scene is going on, I'm going to check how long I've been recording. Oh, Luke, is it really you? I was so worried about you. I was certain you'd been kidnapped again. I'm fine. Here I am, home again. Madam, I beg your forgiveness. I'm the one who involved your son. I tried to strike down my brother without thought to where I was. So, you are Van's sister, Tyr? Yes. I see. You say that what happened this time was not the work of villains pursuing my son? By Lorelei and Yulia, I swear it was not. Thank you. And Tyr? I don't know what's happened between you and Van, but please, never again think of striking down your own brother. 
family fighting family is entirely too sad. I am grateful for your kind words. Luke, <clears throat> you've come back to me. I'm fine now. Go let everyone see that you've returned. Oh, right. All right. Now that we got that out the way, I'm just doing a quick check to see other skits. Uh, let's see here. All right, no more skits yet. Okay, now after we've done all that, all right, we want to go back to the main entrance. Doesn't matter which way you approach. I'm going to go this way since it just makes more sense to me instead of going across the garden. Oh, I think I missed talking that one night. Eh, it's fine. <clears throat> I'm only doing this for a thing that's later in the game. But let's, uh, all you have to do is approach these guys. Now, you must make certain that the young master does not learn of this. What are you hiding from me? Young master, th nothing, nothing at all. Ramdas, are you saying you won't tell me? While organizing the storehouse earlier... One of the maids accidentally threw out some items entrusted to us from Dorian General Grants. What? I beg your forgiveness. No, young master. This matter is entirely my responsibility. So, what was it you'd gotten from Master Van? Teaching materials intended for your education. I believe they were texts pertaining to Albert-style arcade arts. Arcade art books? You lost something like that? Where did you throw them away? Actually, it seems they were sold to a traveling salesman. What? Where is he now? He said he would be leaving by ship, so he may still be at the port. Damn it, we're going after him. Young master, take this 150,000 gold to buy back your tax. Hey, hey, all right. You're gonna be ballin'. I can't imagine it require that kind of money. That's too much. Tear? Shh. Oh, is that so? Then I'll reduce it. Luke obtained 20,000 gold. Now, for the 20,000 gold, you can spend it how you want, or you can spend it for what it's for. Do not spend it how you want. Spend it for what it's for. And before you do anything to progress the story, you need to go to the port now. Hey, wait. Are you going to, into the city? You shouldn't stay out too late. It's okay to wander around a little, but head back to your room once you start getting tired. I know, I know. And I'll just see you guys back at the bottom, by the port. Alright, we are back at the port. Didn't take long, maybe 30 seconds. Now we're back here. Proceed this way. And talk to a character who wasn't even there in the first place. You there, stop! Excuse me? I'm of the House of Faber. Return the books you just bought. I'll return your money. I'm afraid they are already part of my business now. Of the four texts I received, I already sold three of them. What? You swindler? It's just business. I'll be happy to sell you the remaining text for 20,000 gold if you'd like. Okay, I'll pay. Damn it, that's highway robbery. Fine, here. And we don't have the 20,000 gold anymore. Here is the introductory text, arcade art text. And we learn Arcana Albertus, which allows us to learn Demon Fist. Who'd you sell the rest to? Two individual dilettanti. They've each returned to their home countries now, I believe. Now, if you'll excuse me, my ship is here. Thank you and good day. Damn it, I had to find them and buy them back. How are you going to get the money for that? I'll ask father and mother. If you do that, they'll learn about the maid's mistake. And they might fire her. Like, that's my problem, is what I want to say, but... Well, right now, we don't even know where the texts are. We can we can worry about it when we find them. Yeah, I guess so. Alright. And now... We're gonna go to the mansion again. So, I will see you guys back at the mansion.
All right, we're back at the mansion. And now we want to talk to Pear. Pear, what are you doing here? Master Luke. Were you looking at this sword? Yes, this sword holds many memories for me. Pear. Uh, oh, yes, my apologies. Apologies? For what? And how come you suddenly shouted at him, guy? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Now you're just making me more curious. Well, okay, if I lose the bet, I'll tell you. Bet? What bet? You forgot that it's a secret to the bet ends. I actually did not know you could get that scene now. I thought you actually had to get it later. Well, good. That's one less thing to mark off my list. I suppose I'll be getting back to my work now. And that's all he says. All right. You know, to be honest, I actually didn't come all the way over here. So, okay. Good. That also starts uh, another side quest for uh, Guy. Now, the last place to go is Luke's room. And y'all, I really, really wanted to get all of this in this part, but I'm looking ahead at what I have to do, and there is a lot left. So, unfortunately, I'll be making ending this episode very soon, which is fine. That means I now have a little bit more. Are you tired? Feel free to get some rest. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll do that. See? Well, I guess I'll be going then. The White Knights are having a fit that your search was left in the hands of a mere servant like me. Time to go kiss up while I give my report. It's time for us to go as well. Luke, please don't forget about me. It was a fascinating experience. Thank you. See you. That's it. Game's over. I need to report to Grand Maestro Moe's, so I'll be leaving now, too. Oh, okay. You have a kind mother. Make sure you take good care of her. Like you're in a position <clears throat> to be telling me that. I suppose you're right. Farewell. Hey, wait. Yes? Don't worry about it too much. Mother fell ill because she was frail to begin with. Thanks. Batical, the capital of light, kingdom of Kimlaska Lanvaldir. Gnome Day, Gnome Decan too. Good morning, Master Luke. Another beautiful day today, isn't it? Who the hell sleeps in all their clothes? According to the Order of Lorelei's score, though, there may be some slight rain later. There will not be. Well, technically... Nah, nah, I'm not gonna say anything. <clears throat> I guess I can understand why he's sleeping in his clothes. I mean, he did just travel all over the place, and he's probably really tired. Just probably just passed out. He would better take his clothes off. A messenger arrived from Princess Natalia, requesting your presence in the castle. It's okay for me to leave the manor now? Yes, apparently so. To the castle. What could Natalia want? She may have come here directly. Could it have something to do with Uncle? Maybe it's about Master Van. But still, they sure let me out without much of a fuss. So, what was th with these past seven years? That skit is automatic after you sleep at Luke's house. Nothing else you have to worry about. Alright. Okay, we're almost done with this episode. Been going on long enough. 
Well, really, it hasn't been going too long. Um, it just feels like it's been going long because I do have a video that's almost an hour long. Oh, and this is cool. Once you have all these events done, you sleep, you come back and you're by yourself. Anytime you enter or leave the manor, the maids bow to you. Apparently their job is just to stand there all day and all night, waiting for Luke to leave. Or anybody else in the higher upper, the upper hierarchy. Then the seventh phone stone is an Exeriuth? Yes, it's likely that Luke will also wind up going there, and what about me? Oh, greetings, Luke. We've been waiting for you. Colonel Curtis is already waiting inside. Jade's here? Let's go. Ah, we've been waiting for you, Luke. An emergency assembly was called last night. We agreed to formalize a treaty with Malkuth. The letter from Malkuth contained the proposal for the peace treaty, but also a request for aid. There is a mining city in Malkuth called Exeriuth. It is facing a crisis due to the miasma, the poison blight that seeps up from Gnome's domain. Malkuth can't rescue its own citizens, because the Miasma is blocking their road to Axeriuth. But Axeriuth was originally our territory. So naturally, there's also a connecting road from the Kite Sewer side. With that in mind, they requested our aid to protect their citizens. Yeah, helping their people would be a nice gesture, but what's that got to do with me? His Majesty has graciously assigned you the honor of becoming Kimlaska Lanvaldir's goodwill ambassador. Me? No. I've had enough fighting already. Natalia talked to me about Van. We too are uncertain regarding Van's guilt. Thus, we have a proposal. If you will travel to Exeriuth as a goodwill ambassador, we will release Van and have him aid you. Master Van's been arrested? He's being held beneath the castle. All right, if you'll set Master Van free. You become a lot more cooperative when Van is involved. Shut up. I'm glad you've agreed to help. There's actually a reason why you must be the one to fulfill this role. <clears throat> what? Look at this phone stone. This is part of Yulia Juez's sixth phone stone, which fell into our nation's territory. Tyr, read the score that is written on the lower portion of this phone stone. Yes, Your Majesty. ND 2000. In Kimlaska shall be born the scion of Lorelei's power. He will be of royal blood with hair of red. He shall be called the Light of the Sacred Flame, and he will lead Kimlaska Lanvaldir to new prosperity. ND 2018. The young scion of Lorelei's power shall bring his people to the minor city. There, and the rest is missing. That's sufficient. In other words, Luke, you are the chosen youth. Don't worry. Have confidence in yourself. You've been chosen. The power of hyper-resonance will make you a hero. A hero? Me a hero? It pained us to confine you, but people sought you for your power. Now, though, it is time you became a hero. It's just like Master Van said. A hero? What is it, Colonel? Nothing. Well, who shall accompany him besides me? The Order of Lorelei wishes to send along Tyr and Van. Luke, who would you like to take with you? You should take Guy with you as your personal attendant. 
I don't care, as long as Master Van's going. Father, I really think that I should go along as an ambassador as well. I told you last night, that will not do. Uncle, may I go see Master Van? Do as you wish. I'll have the others who are to accompany you wait in front of the castle. Hey, hey, all right, we got a new title. The ambassador title. Uh, okay, so this is gonna go, this is like you're gonna go over the 30 minutes, but not much. <clears throat> so, Master Van really was captured, but me, a goodwill ambassador? If saving the people in Xerias will free Van, I'll do it. Besides, if the treaty goes through, I might not become a I might become a hero. Then maybe they let me free. It's just like Master Van said. I can't wait to tell him about this. And I don't think we have any other skits I can get at the moment. Nope, not yet. All right. So, will we be able to make it to Xerius as the Chosen One? Will we be able to get Van to come along with us and free the people of Xerius from the Miasma? And what's waiting around the corner? Find out next time and Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%. This is Joseph K. signing out. Y'all have a great day. Later.